Yo, today we'll be going over the new friend story fifth job skill. So reading off the description, opens a portal that reflects the appearance of another world. Enemies reflected in the portal are forced to show their appearance from the other world. When this was first released, I initially thought it was going to be like shade soul split skill. And if that was the case, it would have been pretty broken. But what it actually does at level 30, consumes 5% HP after image duration of 50 seconds. Increases all your stats that you invested AP into by 18%. When there is an after image of the other world within the same map, 10% chance to restore 3% max HP and 3% max MP when attacking enemies created by after image of the other world. Cooldown of 60 seconds. So essentially, this skill is like a Maple Warrior that increases all stat percent, but also have a 10% chance to recover 3% max HP and MP, only for 50 seconds and a 5 second downtime, assuming players have like a level 200 Mercedes Legion effect. So kind of unfortunate that this is not a 100% uptime. What I think about this skill is that this is basically a additional micro management skill that Kinesis players will have to keep track of during bossing. It's almost like keeping track of Mind Break before Ignition update when it was an active skill that needs to hit the boss or a few mobs to increase the final damage. So pretty much one micro management skill coming back. I guess it's great as it kind of helps with Kinesis survivability by a little bit since the 10% chance to recover is kind of low. Though to be fair, Kinesis does attack kind of fast with the amount of summons they have and also they have a hurricane. It should kind of recover HP at a fair rate while also playing with RNG on the side. However, this skill does not equalize with the 3% final damage nerf from Mana Overload that all magicians got hit with. 1% all stat equates to 0.1 final damage, so with this new skill at level 30, it's only like a 1.8 final damage increase, meaning it's still a overall damage loss for the Kinesis class. Now going over to how this fair in gameplay, this skill can be used in mid-air and has quite a far range of targeting an enemy and could even target an enemy below platform. This skill applies a debuff towards an enemy and this indicates that this enemy needs to be hit in order for you to recover HP. But if the debuff was applied onto a small mob in a boss fight and dies, you will not be able to recover HP from any other way but still retain the all stat buff until the duration ends. Once the skill is activated, a portal is placed onto a platform where the enemy is currently on or on a nearby platform. And this will stay onto that platform until the duration ends. However, if the platform disappears or breaks, the skill will disappear and you will lose the entire buff. This means that this portal is a grounded skill and cannot stay on mid-air. So in Gloom, it is better to use this skill before platform comes in and have the portal remain at the bottom. But in Lucid Phase 2, it is kind of unpredictable and RNG with the golems randomly breaking platforms. In Will Phase 1, the all stat buff will remain until the duration ends even when swapping into either side. But the debuff to heal can only happen depending on which will it was placed on. The heal from the skill does not bypass Will Phase 2 or Varus Hilo heal block. Now to how fast it heals, I did a test of normal DPM and full burst both with mana overload on. Just to note the chance to heal is propped by the number of times the mob is hit and not by the number of lines.
As for last dots, it's kind of underwhelming in my opinion. The heal chance is very low and might not be much of a help for survivability. And for the portal having to be grounded is disappointing. I did kind of hope it could at least have a chance to recover 1 PP during skill duration, but instead it's max MP, so pretty much useless. Honestly, this would have been a great help with the resource management when playing Kinesis. This skill is for the friend story class, but what's the point of categorizing it if there's only one friend? For the past 8 years. Sure, maybe future proofing it for a new friend story class release, but this is just pure copia. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the new skill for friend story classes or just kinesis. If there's any comments or questions you want to make, be sure to leave it down below. So yeah, thanks for watching.